Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Welcome to Hectanooka One, coming to you from Nova Scotia in Canada. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this very easy crossed headband. So let's get started. And I put a link below where you can learn how to make this easy ruffled t-shirt knit flower. To make this headband you could use any size hook and any size yarn. And today I'm going to use a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and Red Heart Chunky Yarn. And I'm going to start with a chain that's as wide as I would like my headband to be. So any number of stitches that you would like. So I think that's a good width. And that was chain 11. So in the second stitch from the hook, right here, I'm going to single crochet. To make a single crochet, insert the hook in the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, then pick up the yarn and pull it through both loops. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across my chain. Like that, I've single crocheted all the way across the row. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to work only in the back side of the stitch. Now this chain one takes the place of the first stitch. So start working into what looks like the second stitch and single crochet in each stitch across the row, working only in the back side of the stitch. Like that. Now each row will be exactly the same. Chain one and turn. Working in the second stitch, not this one, in the back side of the stitch only, single crochet in each stitch across the row. And that's the last stitch of the row. When you get to the end of the row, this turning chain is the last stitch. And you'll have to look to find it, but single crochet in that last stitch. And if you're a beginner at crochet, you could mark that turning chain with a stitch marker. And you're just going to continue to repeat that row until you have a piece like this that will wrap around the head. And now I've threaded the yarn end into a yarn needle and I'm going to weave it through the end of this strip. And I'm just going to pull it like that to gather it. Take a stitch there just to secure it. And then after gathering it, I'm going to come back over to the other side and I'm going to put my finger in there just to keep that open a bit and I'm going to take a stitch to secure that like that so I have that little opening here and I'm going to thread the yarn end from the other end into a needle and I'm going to weave this through like that but don't pull too tight take one stitch to secure it and this is the end that I had with the hole. Now I'm going to bring this side over and I'm going to pass my needle through that hole like that. And then I'm going to come back and join this other side like that. And now I can just take a couple of stitches there to secure it. Weave my yarn end back and forth into the finished work. Trim that off and that's how your headband will look link below where you can learn how to make this easy ruffled t-shirt knit flower and that's how easy it is to crochet this easy headband thanks for watching bye for now